This is how I power two big size subwoofers. In the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. So the subwoofers that I'm using are the SCAR SDR18 and the SCAR SDR15. They're both 600 watts RMS a piece, so they can handle about 1200 watts RMS and maybe even a little bit more. So that's a decent amount of power. My amplifier is the Power Acoustic RZR1 2500D and it only puts out about 900 watts RMS at one ohm. So it's definitely not putting these subwoofers to their limits, but it's still a pretty good amount of power. So the first thing I use to power my amplifier is a 650 watt 12 volt power supply and then i use a second 500 watt 12 volt power supply so they both can put out a decent amount of power but i do get voltage drops and voltage drops are bad because that can lead to clipping and just depending on how low the voltage drop goes it can not only clip your speakers really bad but it can even put your amplifier into protect mode and that's where the battery comes in place so i'm using a 12 volt 70 amp hour battery and it definitely helps out with my voltage and it just gives that extra boost of power that i really needed so i can really crank that bass knob up so in total i'm using two two power supplies and then a 70 amp hour battery to power my amplifier. I also made a more in-depth video explaining exactly how I hooked it up. I also use this RC battery charger to monitor the voltage of the battery and that lets me know if the battery needs to be charged and if my amplifier is getting enough volts. Altogether, this system has been working fine and it provides a lot of power for my system and it can get my subwoofers going pretty good and they can get pretty dang loud when I need them to. I also have some fans just to help with cooling off some of the wires and my amplifier just in case if they start heating up. My amplifier fire also has some built-in fuses but in the future i definitely want to get some fuses so i can have that extra bit of protection now it's time for the sound demo This system does really sound good in person and it gets very loud and it has the bass I can really feel and the bass that just really shakes my chair. So the system I have to power my amplifier definitely works good and it provides enough power. I am gonna keep upgrading my setup. I do plan to add some more batteries so I can have even more power, but the setup I have right now has been working fine. If you guys have any questions, please leave it down below in the comments. I appreciate all y'all for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something new today and I'll see y'all in the next video.